Hey modelers, engineer Jeff here, and in this tutorial we're going to paint Reaper Bones Cobalts. Um, as you can see, I've based this with, uh, see that particular one had a privateer press base. This is the one we'll be working on. Uh, he's got a shield and a sword, and I put him on, uh, looks like a, a Warhammer base, like 20 mil. It's another one of his buddies. All of these have uh, mold lines and it's kind of hard to see if you don't actually get in and uh, like maybe put a darker coat of primer on it um, or a darker color so I just kind of took some gray uh, Steinol res primer and mixed a little bit of brown in with it and then dusted them dusting them made them a little easier to find the mold lines so I went in with my hobby knife and that deburring tool that you saw earlier and removed a lot of those mold lines. There's still some on there, but for tabletop purposes, it's fine. And this is the model after I reprimed it. Significantly less mold lines. So I got my hands on some Vallejo Game Air. It's their Vallejo's new game color line. And uh, it's pretty much mixed just like the model air. It's nice and um, easy to push through an airbrush but I also like using it for just regular brush work so I'll show you how we did it on this model basically you're gonna go through and use that red to color the body and hindsight being 2020 I guess I could have gone through and airbrush this but uh, I kind of wanted to enjoy my time on this model, so um, just kind of taking it easy and enjoying the journey. No, no rush. The nice thing about the uh, the model air and the game air lines that Vallejo's got is you get really good coverage with the first coat. Uh, I went ahead and did one coat here. I uh, didn't like. Uh, there were certain areas that just weren't, didn't have the coverage that I wanted, so I went back and did a second coat. And you should have something a little like that. We'll take some burnt umber from the model airline and I kind of wanted to get an idea of what I wanted to do with the base so I just went ahead and used this burnt umber to put down for the ground cover over top of the ballast that I put on there. Again, really no thinning necessary. It goes on nice, fluid. This is a Windsor Newton Series 7. Um, I think it's a one aught. I use a one aughts on most everything, I, uh, all my models. So just going around the base, going over that ballast, over the little gravel and sand. let that dry a little bit and we'll go on to the next color. This is the Vallejo Model Air Black and we're going to base color um, the uh, weapons in the shield. Well, his one weapon. I like to put a base color of black down for anything that I'm going to paint silver or like an iron color as a good background color. Again, if you get some paint 
on the parts you've already painted don't worry about it you can go back over it later and touch it up I did it a lot in this video just enjoying the journey and work on the shield here Should have something like that. Go back to the burnt umber. And I'm going to put a base color down on his shoulder pad. I always like, um, like the previous color with black and weapons and with, you know, they have like a silver tinge. For any kind of bronze colored armor, uh, I like to base in brown. And then go in with my brassy brass here. This is part of the new game airline. This is very, very nice bronze color. And after the brown dries, then I'll go through and hit it with the, the brassy brass. That goes through the airbrush really nice too. Occasionally you'll see me flicking the paint off on my thumb uh, as if I get too much on it right out of the paint pot or the palette. That's where I'll deposit it. I'm going to take some of the Vallejo Model Air Steel and we'll go ahead and paint this weapon in the shield. Careful not to get any on your skin color, but if you do, you can always go back and touch it up with red. And that's where we are so far. This is Vallejo Model Air US Flat Brown. I like to use this and a couple other colors for leather um, type things like belts. And well, we're going to put it on his, I guess this is a loincloth of some kind. After a couple coats, it'll look like that. Went in, I was going to try a different color. Uh, this is uh, Vallejo Model Air Khaki Brown and used it uh, for the harness that he's got in his actual belt. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two colors. One's got a little more of an ochre color to it. These are fun little models to paint. If you catch your mistake, like if you get some paint on an area that you didn't want it to go to, and what you can do is take your brush and unload it and rinse it off, and then come back in and, and try to wick the paint out. 
So we're going to go with the Vallejo Game Air Dark Green. I like this line. I really like this dark green color. And we're going to paint his pouch on the back. And now he's got a green pouch. This is Vallejo Model Air Dark Gray Blue. I like to use it for a base coat for stone colors. And we're going to go ahead and paint his base, the one he comes on. Nice stony dark color. So we'll take some Vallejo Game Air Bone White and we'll use it to highlight, paint the uh, little skull he's got on his belt. Yeah, this is a second coat. Not much to look at yet, but he's coming along. Go back to the bloody red and I'm gonna mix it in with the Hex Lichen all by Game Air, Vallejo Game Air. And what we're gonna do is put some shadows in. I like to kind of bounce around the model so I may you know start at the you know one arm and work my way over to a leg and then oh I missed this spot on the arm so I'm gonna go back and back and forth Don't want to flood any of these areas with paint, so if you've got to offload a little bit on your thumb or back on the palette, feel free to do so. Got a lot of muscle for a little guy. You could achieve a similar effect to this uh, by doing a wash. Essentially, what I'm doing here is almost like a, almost like a pen wash, like the scale model guys do, but or what we could call a controlled wash. I'm calling it shading. So we'll take the orange fire by Game Air. It's going to be our first highlight color. 
Mix it in with the bloody red that we used for his skin. And just start working it into areas that are raised or that we want to uh, like accent. If the highlight drifts off into one of your shaded areas, just uh, dump the paint off your brush and uh, dry it up and then you can kind of wick it out. After your first highlight, something a little like that. So we'll take the Game Air Orange Fire that we just used and we're going to mix some Sun Yellow in with it. And we'll come in and work this into the very extreme highlights. I got all my kobolds from the original Kickstarter the Reaper had. So I think I've got about nine of them. Perfect candidate for assembly line type painting. Again, I like to go back and forth. I'll work on this hand, then I'll go down, oh, it looks like I need a little more on the eyebrow or need a little more on the knee or just kind of build it up in layers. These are buff little kobolds. What are kobolds like? Like dragon kin or if anybody knows, put a comment in the comments field down below. My Google foo is weak. They are related to dragons. I guess you could uh, paint them up different colors if you really wanted to. Um, just substitute greens in for the reds or blues for the red.
that's what we got so far. Let's take the moon yellow and it'll be our final highlight. On the very tips. Very extreme, extreme, extreme highlight. These are little tiny models, so a little paint goes a long way. Offloading most of the paint off onto your hand before you apply it, uh, you're, I think you're going to get better results. Or onto your palette. That's what we got so far. So we'll take the Bone White from Vallejo Game Air. Offload most of it onto your thumb or your palette or whatever. We don't want a lot of paint on it. And we're going to go in there and really carefully we're going to Put some white in where the eye should be. This is going to form the base for our follow-up color. Again, this is a one-aught brush. So if you maintain the tip, should be have still have a pretty good point to it. You should be able to put those, those eyes in like that. If it gets a little bit too much, don't worry about it. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and Take care of the teeth. Cobalt's got to have something to eat with, right? So now we'll take the game Air Escorpina Green. And offload it as much as possible. And you just got a little bit of paint on the tip. And we're going to use that as our main color for our eyes. The white makes a nice background color for this green.
dries fairly quickly too when you have this tiny amount of paint so once it's dried go back in and give it another coat if it needs it and while I'm at it I'll go ahead and paint his toenails because apparently we forgot to paint those using the bone white and now our cobalt has eyes. This is the Reaper Master Series Brown Liner. Uh, I went ahead and picked up the Triad and really like these for doing lining. So what we're going to do is uh, I mixed up some brown and the blue together and I'm going to go in and just really carefully going to uh, line the sides of the belt around the skull um, anything that kind of butts up next to the skin is loincloth you'll notice as I'm running the liner along the belt and some of the other locations that I put this paint it really brings things out and makes them pop get a little bit on there just go ahead and dump the brush and then wick it off and if it won't come off go ahead and come back in with your your base color we're having fun here Here's the fun part. We're going to line these eyes. So you don't want a ton of paint on the brush, but just go along the outside rim, almost like you're putting eyeliner on them or something. Just let the paint flow off the brush. This side's a little easier. and our lining is done. So Privateer Press makes this nice color called bootstrap leather and for a long time it was my go-to uh, for all and anything leather and it still is for the most part um, but I like to mix it up and one thing I noticed was I missed the little uh, whatever that thing is that he's holding onto the leather strap that's on the shield. So 
I'm going to go ahead and paint that with uh, some of this bootstrap leather. And I'll go ahead and touch up a couple spots that uh, just weren't looking good with the previous colors. And I've got some old Citadel Devlin mud. I bought a bunch of this stuff when uh, they were switching to the new color line. Can't recall what the new colors are, but it's basically a brown wash. And I'm gonna go through and uh, wash all the silver parts, the shield and the, um, his little dagger. I'm also gonna go back over and uh, take some of that steel and paint the little bolts that are holding the leather strap on the shield and we'll get some of the other little metal parts that are like on his shoulder pads those little knobs or whatever and then down on his loincloth I went through and did the did some edge highlighting there on the side of the blade and we'll touch up these little spikes or whatever on his shield to make them pop a little more I'm going to take some of that uh, brown liner and fill in the area where the skull, like the eye sockets and the nose, kind of make it show up a little better. So we'll take the bone white and go to mix it in a little bit with um, this uh, leather color that I had from the P3 line. So we'll do some highlighting on the harness and the belt almost almost weathering a little bit just something to make it look not so new you can tell this is a new day that I recorded because my thumbs a lot cleaner Oops. Take a little bit of red and touch that up. Ta da! No worries. So I decided my cobalt needed a nose. So I took some of the black and I'm just going to give him a sniffer. Much better. So the 
Vallejo Game Air Dark Green uh, used on the pouch. So we'll use some of the Goblin Green to highlight it. What does he keep in that pouch, do you think? A healing potion? Some marbles? What do kobolds need to carry around? Maybe that's his cash purse or something. So the final thing I'm doing here is putting some glue down and I'm going to put a little bit of flock on this base to get a little bit of a different color variation on there. Get some grass on that base. Maybe some growing up there in between the cracks on the stone. And just sprinkle it on. And here's Mr. Kobold, all ready for battle. Hope you liked this video. Um, I've had some folks make comments that they'd like to see more, uh, essentially a longer video with me not editing quite as much. So uh, this was my first attempt at that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like it, uh, leave me a thumbs up and uh, Give me some comments in the comment field down below. And as always, please subscribe. This is a group shot of Mr. Kobold and his two uh, traveling buddies. They've got spears. A little more clothing. What's a kobold going to wear anyway? Everybody stay tuned. The next Reaper Bones tutorial will be Dark Elves. See ya.